Good morning guys and welcome. It's Julie Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia on um, a bit of a rainy day and uh, still in lockdown in Australia and in basically um, self-isolation so obviously getting loads and loads of paintwork done so um, I suppose that's one good thing about it that you've just got so much more time to dedicate to creating whether it be art or sculpture or woodwork or any craft it's now's the perfect time isn't it so I've got these two little canvases I've just coated the 20 by 25 I just coated the I use all of my empty bottles and and makeup paints in them so this is just the um, this one is, is actually the black craft paint and I mixed it with the my pouring medium of the 7030. I'm just using it up for the bottom and seeing if it makes any difference having this on the bottom. Um, probably is a bit thick so I may need to add a bit more um, of the glue mix, the pouring medium mix. I just want to see what a swipe comes out like on these two but I thought I will just with the colours that I already had made up from my rainbow pour. So I'll probably put the colours of the rainbow into the swipe, but I might lock them, push them together like that. Just grab me wet cloth, it's sitting here. Um, and I'm ready to go. So, okay. I'm using, mostly I'm using this uh, Montmartre Studio Acrylics and I just, like I said, the only one is, the exception is the uh, Montmartre poster paint. So the rest of the colours I'm going to, um, these are the Montmartre Studio Acrylics pre-mixed with my pouring medium. Anybody wanting to know, um, actually I might go straight across. My pouring medium recipe is below in the drop down box um, and also the suppliers is in that drop down box too. So I don't know if I'm going to make anything of this or it's going to just go to mud. Not sure. Uh, doing it over black so that's a little bit risky. So that's the brilliant red, orange, yellow. Uh, I'll go the green so then I think if I can get all the colors of the rainbow I will do see how we go on the black oh caught the cup on the bottom of them but that gives it a good I don't know it's a nice little um, embellishment on there uh, ooh, maybe I could have done this a little bit thinner thinner than some so go the indigo or purple. So I have definitely got all the colours of the rainbow. I think if I put this one and then I will use I'm going to use the only exception I've got just the uh, it's just a quick little one. So I've got so much time on my hands um, I'm going to use, this is the white studio acrylic and I've mixed it with Floetrol and this has got no, I have put no um, silicon in this whatsoever. The other has got two drops of silicon but that is all the information's in the drop down box. So I just wanted to see if I could mix it up using poster paint and studio acrylics and now I will just pour this as my um, to swipe so so see what we come out with might be one big mess but I will still post it regardless because I need you guys to see that I make mistakes too when I'm um, testing out stuff not sure if uh, swiping with this is the best idea but I'm going to give it a go it's 
getting some nice lacing considering that's over uh, just over poster paint oops so I hope you're um, I hope you are um, okay in your own homes and you know accepting of this situation like we all have to and there's nothing really we can uh, do to change it except do the right thing at, at this moment in time uh, okay that looks a bit crazy um, pour a bit more of the white over the top kind of giving people just other options than using expensive products because obviously the poster paint is is a lot cheaper than any of the other styles paint well the, which is what I've got on the bottom um, okay yeah so just just putting options out there yeah coming a bit wibbly wobbly I must admit I definitely have had better but that's all right that's just part and parcel of testing out different things and just don't, I just want you guys to know that if you test out something and it doesn't come out right that we're all in this together we, it all we're all the same we all have days where it doesn't work out okay doesn't look too bad I'm gonna see what my Wonder Wand brings up, if anything. Got a lot of lacing in there. Just give that a few minutes to develop and we'll see what comes of it. Oh, I've got, sorry, I've got right out of frame. I'm a crazy person. Okay, nothing really exciting with this one whatsoever. But I will give it some balloon embellishment and see how we go with that. Just wanted to try, you have to try different things and different products because it just might be something that really works quite well. So, 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 we'll get the balloon, we'll get the balloon out and see how we go with that. Yeah, not too exciting, it might be a scraper. Oh, oh look at that, look how pretty that one is. Oh, I haven't got another canvas handy, but then sometimes, obviously with a a balloon you can um, make something that looks terrible into something that looks half decent so don't give up on anything straight away that would probably look better with the smaller balloon but um, just giving it a try just trying to save the canvas again it was just a quick video i just thought i'd let you know so there you go it's not particularly working too well having the uh poster paint as my base um just thought it might have worked okay not not too good there you go i could just balloon and balloon balloon get yeah, it's good for frustration uh, pressing on the balloon but there you go it's colorful and it stands out but it's not really one that I would probably keep I will probably scrape it and start again but yeah yeah it's yeah definitely I mean I know that's Just moving on to plan C before I scrape this I'll give it another go I've just started to do my chevrons I'm gonna dip it and see if I can save this painting before I completely just scrape it and scrap it so I thought I'd keep my camera rolling just in case it turns out to stunner 
So just gonna do the chevrons. If you had a few colours in there. <coughs> hey! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, that's my big dog going at my little dog for getting any food. In her food. No, no, no fighting over food. I better put the food up. No. Naughty girl. She's usually very good with the little dog, or has been of late, but obviously when food's concerned, she doesn't want to share. But that's not good. I don't like dogs getting aggressive at all over food, just in case it's a child trying to lift it from them. But um, anyway, moving on, moving on. Okay, keep going with this. I mean, it just looks like one complete crappy mess, but ah, just persevere, persevere. A bit of white in there now. This bit of white has got the, this one is the only colour that's mixed with a bit of Floetrol instead of pouring me, uh, my glue pouring medium. It's got a bit of Floetrol in it. So, okay. <laughs> Let's see what mess I can create. More mess. Lola, you're a teaser. Now she's teasing my other dog. Walking around with a biscuit in her mouth. <laughs> okay. Like little children. I try to leave them outside when I'm in my art room, but no, they then they scratch on the door and they want to be in here with me. So they're in here with me. So I'll have to kick them out when they disbehave like little children, but... They're our dogs and we love them unconditionally. Or they love us unconditionally, for sure. Okay, so I just flip that over because it's always a good idea if, if you've got two canvases that you're dipping on to flip it over because then it transfers the paint from one to the other. So, so, so. Let's give this a go and see if I can get anything. Oh my goodness. Oh, actually actually holy dooly i knew it that is gorgeous they are gorgeous oh 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 small water balloon just teeny tiny water balloon to oh now my water balloon is actually leaking no good can't put that on because it'll just dilute oh my goodness just don't like that line there so i will break it up with a little teeny old balloon oh my goodness oh well there you go that just goes to show you you know that you're thinking you're gonna definitely gonna scrape something and then just not giving up that is that is gorgeous oh my goodness I love it I love it I love it love it look at that look at that it's beautiful. It's nice that way. Oh, I like it. I like it. Just want to get rid of that line going through there. Oh, what do you think, peeps? From disaster, tragic to magic. Holy dooly, that's, that's a beauty. I am so glad I didn't give up on that. I'll post finished photographs at the end um, and I'm definitely going to add that bit of footage now to the end of my video so I hope you're still watching I'll have to put a reminder there because those are gorgeous really gorgeous look at that got the vibrancy and they're all the colors of the rainbow so spread the the rainbow cheer was it hashtag rainbow cheer hashtag in unity lies strength so oh i am ecstatic about that i love it i love it there you go never give up that is an absolute message and it pushed me on to give that message to you guys never give up when you think that it's at its worst and you just want to throw it away just try something else change direction try something else because that is absolutely blooming 
wonderful okay sorry for my excitement I'm still getting excited about my art so that is a good thing until next time bye for now